everyone, I'm Miss Charlotte and today I'm going to show you how to transform your pumpkin into a box. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first step you want to take is finding the front of your pumpkin. And once you've decided what the front of your pumpkin is, you're going to want to make a heart shape. So you can either do it by pencil first or you can just take your white paint and make a heart shape. So kind of like this, you can see what I'm doing. I'll show you guys when I'm done in a second. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you're gonna wanna make a big heart shape right across the front of your pumpkin. And this is going to be the fox's base. Okay, so you're going to continue making the heart shape and you're going to bring it all the way down. You can see all the way down to the bottom. So you can just barely see the white. And then you're going to take your white paint and you're just going to fill in this heart. Okay. So you're gonna fill in your heart with white paint and you're gonna cover it with however many coats it takes that you can't see the orange come through. So whether that's one coat or two coats, just however many it takes to cover the orange. Okay, so we're gonna complete that and then we'll take you to the next step. Okay. So you should have a heart shape like this. I used two coats of paint and I waited until it was completely dry to continue to the next step. So our next step is that we're going to create little marks right here. So we're gonna do that. going to create little lines at the top here just like this and, me, and I'll show you really quick I know like that So they should kind of look like that. And you can add however many you want. It's your box. And then I'm going to let those dry. And then I'm going to take us to the next step. Okay. So now we're going to make his eyes, nose, and mouth. So this part's pretty simple. Now we're going to take our black paint. And we're going to use our paintbrush. We're going to dip it in. You only need a little paint and we're gonna make little slits for his eyes. So I'm gonna show you what that's gonna look like. And you're gonna wanna try to line it up with the first bump. So it's gonna be in the middle. Let me try to show you. It's gonna be in the middle right here. So it's gonna be about right here. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And you can go over it and make it thicker or larger. You can add eyelashes. I'm gonna add this over one more time. I'm just gonna add another line underneath it. And then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Super simple. Nothing too hard, just a line. I'm gonna show you guys just like that, you guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna actually make it a little bit bigger because I have a very wide pumpkin. Okay, so just like that, 
Now we're gonna do the other side. And again, I'm going to try to line it up with the other side of the heart. So directly underneath this part right here, okay? So we're gonna make our line. And you're just gonna make a curved line. Nothing too difficult. I'm gonna make mine a little bit longer again because my pumpkin is a little extra wide. And I'm gonna add a second line underneath it just to make it a little extra larger. So my pumpkin is not small. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna look like this, okay? So you're gonna find the middle of your pumpkin and, you're, and the middle of your pumpkin is going to be underneath where the heart curves. So you're gonna go all the way down and you're gonna find that middle spot. And that's where we're gonna make our nose. So we're gonna make our nose right now. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Just a big circle, so again, where to put it on the face, right in the middle, right where that curve is, okay? I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'm gonna make a big nose. I'm gonna fill it in. So it's just gonna look like that. You're gonna know it's centered because it's in that groove, near, underneath that groove where the heart is. And let me show you what that looks like. So you have your nose, okay? And then, so the mouth, super simple again. I'm just gonna actually just make a line going down the middle right underneath the nose. Okay, super, it's gonna start out thin like that and it's just gonna go all the way down, all the way down to the rest of the white. because my line got lumpy, which is okay. Sometimes, sometimes if you're having a hard time making a straight line, you can go like this with your pinky and use your pinky to keep the rest of your hands steady. So I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna make his nose a little more even. And a little bit bigger. what this looks like and it's gonna just look like this so you should have your pumpkin face this face is ready to go and I'm just gonna add one little detail you're gonna take your white paint again and you're just gonna add one little tiny dot in the corner of his nose to make it look shiny so I'm gonna show you what to do and take your paint, just a little dab, it's a little dry, it's a little wet, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow on it really quick. And you're just going to, hold on, I don't have enough paint. <laughs> okay. And you're just gonna make it look, look at your nose is shiny. Just like that. Okay, so next, we're going to add his ears, okay? So, have your ears. Um, you're gonna take them and you're going to kind of place them on the top. So, I don't 
have glue on me right now. I'm gonna be using tape. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do, my pumpkin is very flat on the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna hold them up and show you. I'm gonna take the ears and you're gonna just bend it at the bottom here. Just like this. I'm just gonna bend it. And then I'm going to put it like that, right at the top here. I'm gonna take some tape. And I'm gonna complete that. So I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so you should be finished and you have now your own box pumpkin. So if you like this program, uh, look for our upcoming programs in the next newsletter. We have Toto Rock Painting, we have a pumpkin turkey program coming up and ceramic painting coming up in our next newsletter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.